it's Memorial Day weekend coming up and we're talking about grilling and I'm joined today by grill master Jeff Jackson. Jeff, appreciate you being here today. No, no problem. We're talking steak and hamburger today. We're talking about being a carnivore. Yes, sir. Let's, yes, sir. Let's get into this. Talk to us about steaks. I mean, a lot of folks don't know which steaks are good for them and which ones they should go with. Right, right. Well, right, what we have right here, we have a uh, filet of a sirloin and we have our signature 18 ounce bone-in outlaw ribeye. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> so uh, with these different cuts of steaks, you're going to have uh, the tenderloin right here, the filet is right. going to be the most tender and it's very lean. And you also have the sirloin that's going to be very lean as well. Now with the, uh, the ribeye, you have more marbling. Uh, that's going to give you a lot more flavor, a lot right. more juice in the steak. Uh, so that, that's, that's my personal favorite. But uh, Mine too as well. And, and having that bone in the ribeye it actually gives it some more flavor. It, it really does. The, uh, the, the marrow and the bone, just, right. it just kind of melts into the meat and it uh, really gives you a nice flavor. And as you say, the filet is a lot more tender. Sometimes though, you got to watch out and don't overcook. Sure, sure. And that's uh, with any steak. Sure, and uh, you know, really, what we're shooting for is about medium. You're looking at about 140 degrees. Uh, you can use a meat thermometer. You can buy it at your local grocery store. Right. Like that, so, uh, and, and for you, as, as uh, when you're cooking a steak in the restaurant, you just you, do you use a the thermometer sometimes, or do you go by eye or by feel? We do. Uh, we do have some really good expert grillers there, oh, yeah. and uh, so they really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, there are times that we actually do. We just kind of spot check ourselves and we're just making sure that we're getting them just right. And so we want to send out that perfect steak. You want that perfect steak and you want that perfect steak at home if you're cooking it yourself as well. And the way to do that is to spice it correctly. Sure, it? sure. Let's so talk about spicing steaks. All right, what we're going to do real quick is just season the steak and throw it right. on the grill here. And you have an, an abundance of different spices. We here. do, and uh, what we have here is just some some different spices. We got some fresh cracked pepper, some kosher salt, granulated garlic, and granulated onion. So you can mix those together to get a nice nice flavor. Now this here is our signature uh, seasoning that we use at Longhorn. It's a secret. All right. But uh, what you want to do really is uh, just make sure you're coating the steak really well. Don't be scared to you put too be much seasoning. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And some of this is, uh, you know, it'll fall through the grate, so uh, but yeah, That's don't, fine too. don't be scared to do that. And then uh, you also want to, real important, you want to... What wanna, do you have in the bottle? Got some canola oil in there. Okay. So you can use a towel right, and uh, just kind of brush it on there. You have a squirt bottle like that, and you just want to put it right in the center of the grill right there. Okay. Oh, that's that's a heavenly sound. Got right that there. good sizzle. That sizzle. That's what going. you're looking for right there. And you want to make sure, even if you're making your own uh, seasoning blend, or you're using your signature, that you make sure you coat the entire steak. Sure. I yeah, mean, you, you don't want to leave it in bare places. No, you want that good bold flavor, and uh, so and, that, and that's really what you're looking for, and that's right. that's how we do it at Longhorn. So. And Longhorn actually has a grill hotline that, that folks can call we, and get information, and they can find that on your website as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so what we're doing is uh, May 29th, which is this Sunday. Right. Uh, they're going to do a live call in where you can call in anywhere from 11 to 5. And uh, you can talk to one of our grilling experts. You got some questions, we'll, we'll answer them for you and uh, you know, and help you do some grilling this weekend. And Longhorn, known for great cuts of meat, and that's where it all starts. Sure, sure. And you got to be real selective with your meat. Uh, you want to do fresh, never frozen. Right. Uh, you know, you're looking for quality, uh, you know, depending on, on what you want. You, go for some thicker steaks, stuff right. like that. But really a key is, uh, you know, you're looking for marbling right. and then that freshness too. All right, folks, it is Memorial Day weekend coming up and I know a lot of you are gonna be on the grill, but if you're not at your grill, go to their grill at Longhorn Steakhouse. They can hook you up this weekend for Memorial Day or any other time you're wanting a great steak. Yes, sir.